It's like a freaking pumpkin hitting down there. What did we do, guys? Look at this. This is exactly what you think it is. That is a high point carving that we have put all kinds of stuff on. You'll notice that we have all the enforce there, all four enforces. We got an 800 lumen and a 700 lumen, another 800 lumen and a 400 lumen on there, a Trigicon MRO, and a Rugged Suppressors Obsidian 45 here. Uh, can you get any more stuff on a high point? Tell me what you guys would like to see on a high point carbine, but we're gonna have a grand old time in today's video because as you can see, we've got all the high point that you could possibly get in the house because we have a duplicate in nine millimeter and that one has an obsidian nine on the end of it. So, high points for days. Take me to your leader. Because high point carbines come threaded now. The High Point Carbine is a direct blowback rifle chambered in either 9mm, 10mm, or 45 ACP. This rifle has become wildly popular for its low cost and has earned a reputation for reliability that exceeds its price point expectation. High Point Carbines are constructed mostly of steel wrapped in polymer and are fairly analogous to High Point's popular price point handguns. The major differences being the 16.5 inch barrel and the 31 inch overall length. The suggested capacity magazines that we will be using in this video for both the 995 and the 4595 is a 20 round magazine that looks like High Point fused two of their pistol magazines together. Side note for those of you behind the iron curtain, both are compatible with the single stack pistol magazines that hold 10 rounds. The rifle comes equipped with adjustable iron sights and has a rail both on top of the receiver and under the barrel. I will note though that these rails are weaver spec and will need to be filed slightly to accommodate 1913 accessories. Cover. I can physically see where the bullet should be it. Right? Dude, I can't not laugh about that vehicle that you're hitting. <laughs> Dude, it ran them and it was quiet. Like, now, it was just like a super. thud. Let's do versus supers. Oh, so where those... did this come from? A little bit of a crack. And we are dry. See, I'm increasing the weight here and then that's the break. You can see it's got some travel. Let's take another one so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. There's a the it breaks and then the the break is not like a solid singular event if that makes sense it's like yeah like it, it it's kind see of that wait so you just moved it moved and that's at the weight yeah it, you it's, see it, there's no wall like if you do an ar trigger and you just kind of fall off that cliff and, and you get that crisp break there this it just kind of slides through it's motions there and it's it's just different. I'm not saying it's better or worse, we say it's different. Honestly, 
whatever's going on in here might be just an example of like pure unadulterated genius <laughs> <laughs> it could be like it's, that thing could be like absolutely brilliant how it's put together i just don't know what its deal is it's kind of weird yeah it's just not what i'm used to but hey, hey you know what break on that trigger but you know what <laughs> like, i can weird. hit i with irons i can hit the 150 i mean it ran i can't argue a high point product's just cheap i mean there's not anything wrong with it there's nothing Everything wrong with it that we've ever looked at go on the internet look at high point torture this that and the other they run <laughs> pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. is that not ridiculous it's or what it did it's still pretty quiet but yeah you, the hearing production was doing it you can hear that crack well, the other not thing getting before. is I forgot the Obsidian 9. Uh, this is the Obsidian 45, so it could get quieter. It could be. It could get quieter. <laughs> <laughs> like the magazine, when you run out of ammo, you can just like throw it like a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's really interesting? Is this recoil like... I thought it's kind of neat. Actually. It's kind of cool because it like... Like if you push it in close to your shoulder, like if you compress it a little bit and then shoot it, like it just totally dampens. Ooh, ha, ha. And here we are in the dark thing. So you guys got to tell me, uh, we'll see it in post. I'll put them side by side, obviously, so that you guys can see what it is that happened uh, because I couldn't see anything because it's pitch black out here. all the lights 400 lumen underneath of the barrel there we've got a 700 an 800 and an 800 whoo just uh indeed myself with that light and wham <laughs> for days for days so you guys know the rules right it's out of the box i always load extra for night tests because i don't know how many issues i'm gonna have Let's see if we can hit that van here we go <laughs> oh, we had a stoppage. So, you know, guys, I just want to stop for a second and say that um, this might be the greatest 45 host ever, as far as cans are concerned. I mean, the gun is relatively inexpensive. Uh, and what I would say is for like night hunting or night shooting, like if you're going to go shoot hogs with 45 or something like that then this might be the ticket because especially if you've ever done anything at night before you know that your guns just get absolutely beat to heck and this gun being relatively inexpensive um, you're not really going to care about getting a scratch or a ding on it like you would uh, some gucci'd up gun or you know something like that that's got a whole bunch of night vision on it or something like that you you wouldn't care near as much and the other thing i would say is the way that this thing is built like if you gave me an ar-15 and said hey kurt we want you to try and break this thing with no tools. I mean, realistically speaking, I guarantee you that under one minute I could render an AR-15 inoperable with no tools. If you gave me an AK-47 and said the same thing, it would probably take me about three minutes to destroy it without tools. I'm not sure that I could break this gun, okay? Uh, it's just, it's like all steel and over-molded plastic. And I'm not sure that I could break this thing. So that's that's the other thing is the, the gun being relatively inexpensive and then on top of it, just the materials that it's made out of, everything is big, clunky, and heavy. Like, I just don't think that, I mean, pro considering it being properly heat treated and everything, uh, I don't think I could break it. But anyway, enough yak. 45, <laughs> Yeah, you can totally detect the projectile flying out of this thing, which is freaking sweet, I do have to admit. So, <laughs> see you guys back uh, during the daylight. That's a good old fashioned running gun. Huzzah, go!
Well, cover. I'm up. Got him. <laughs> I'm up. Out. Out. Cover. And scene. <laughs> okay. So check this out, guys. You got to see this. See this yellow label here? Remember, you want to take your labels off of your high point carbine because I got to show you this. <laughs> it's on. It's on his shirt in two places and turn your head all over him <laughs> right and there it, it's on my my favorite nsr tactical shirt mind you my so, favorite shirt the only gripe that we have about this for the record make sure you take your labels off <laughs>